Hey, I'm Solomon with ClickX. Today's marketing hack of the day. I want to help you understand how competitors play a huge role in your online marketing strategy. I'm going to help you see what's working for them, what's not working for them, and how are they actually making money online. All right, I'm going to go through these steps and help you understand what's happening behind the scenes in their campaigns and how you can use that to grow your business. Sounds good? Let's get started. Marketing hack of the day is brought to you by ClickX. First, I have a quote from Tony Robbins that goes, if you want to achieve success, all you have to do is find a way to model those who have succeeded already, all right? So what I usually do when I'm looking at competitors is to find out uh, what are some things that, what are some important things that I should be looking at and how these things play into their current success of their campaign. And by kind of reverse engineering it, I get so much insights into what they're doing and how I can play a better game than that they're doing, how I could succeed and take the same customers that are going to them to come to our site. That's what I'm trying to break it down for you today. Now, you gotta understand there are two types of competitors. You might have learned this in your business school. You got direct competitors that are exactly the same thing that you do, right? They're going for the same kind of service. You're, they're trying to sell the same product to the same people in the same location. Those are your direct competitors. And then you have your indirect competitors. They might be selling something else, but it is the same dollar that they're going for. They're, lo they're looking for the same buyer, but they're not necessarily selling the same product. They might be selling some other kind of product. So keep in mind as you're doing this, that you're doing more of this with the direct competitors and also study your indirect competitors because there might be some ways that they overlap because there are instances where customers punch in one keyword into Google, but they really mean something else, right? They know the indirect competitor's product, but that's not really what they're looking for. They're looking for the thing that you sell, but they don't know what to search for. Uh, when you study your competitors, think about the messaging, right? How are they attracting them to understand their fears, their uncertainties, right? The things that really cause them to, to make a better decision, right? The doubts that they have in their mind. You have to understand that part. And then you have to look at the layout. How do they actually lay this content out? Where do they put their call to action? Where do they have the form? And how are they A-B testing this, right? Do they have, you know, two columns, three columns, whatever it is, do they have a video on the page? All these things have to be emulated. Finally, look at the strategy. Where do they spend all their money sending their traffic to? And where are they advertising today? So you too can get a better edge onto marketing in the same places that they're advertising and they're getting success. And one other thing that I would really urge you to do is take a look at the funnel in which have they designed their website or their landing pages or the steps that they're making you go through. So try to become a consumer of their product, right? Go through the process, figure out what do you get when you subscribe to the email newsletter? What do they send you? Do they send you a coupon? If they send you a coupon, how big is the coupon? Is it 10%, is it 20%? So you have to really understand and go through that process. And literally, if you have to buy their product, do it, spend the money because it's well worth it to understand what is it that they're doing in their successful modeling because you have to go after the top leaders, the ones that are really, really the top of the game and find out what is it that they're doing and try to emulate that and literally go through the steps. Look at their thank you email. Look at their email follow-ups. How many nurturing do they do? I do this, that's why I'm telling you that this is really important because you can't just go off of a hunch, right? You can't really understand, oh, I got a gut feeling, this is what they're doing. No, you have to put yourself through it because chances are they've tested this quite a lot. They've done their research. They've spent a lot of money A-B testing. They know what they're doing because if they're a leader, they've already passed the same sort of struggles, the same grind that you're going through right now, they've passed it, they've made it to that level. So you should be able to get there faster if you can go through the steps and understand their proven model to their product and their service that they're selling. Now let's get to the technical part. Some of the things here that I'm talking about is a lot to do with you know, looking at the competitor from a technical perspective, right? Not the messaging, not the strategy, not the copy per se, it, you know, not the position of the landing page, but what are some things that are helping them grow in their organic presence and their paid media, right? So these are some things that we track in our platform. So, so when you add a competitor, you just go to ClickX and you punch in the, the competitor's URL, and immediately you start to see this information populate. So the first thing that I put a lot of importance into is the backlinks. The backlinks are the sort of the, the based on the quality, right? Based on uh, citation flow and trust flow, we, we break this down so that we understand what are the most, right? Most trustworthy links this, this competitor has. 
and how many of them do they have, sort it in the most important to the least important. So that's the first thing that I would look at in that and study them. Look at where did they get these links from, how old are these links, and how often do they actually go back and, you know, uh, and acquire new links, right? This information is really critical for that long-term success. And secondly, anchor text plays a really important role in SEO. Depending on what you're trying to rank for, depending on whether they're, they're direct competitors or indirect competitors, you want to look at the anchor text. Is it all branded terms? Do they have non-branded terms in their anchor text? Anchor text is simply the link, the text that the link is linked to to the, the, the website that you're linking to. So if your company name is uh, you know, ABC Company, if it's a branded link, they're just linking ABC Company to, to the, the, the site or they sell, they put a link to the service. So maybe your service is roofing. So they would put a roofing contractor and then they take that and they link it to the, the actual roofing website. So look at the anchor text. Google's not a big fan of having a lot of non-branded anchor text. Google's gonna think that it's over-optimized, that you're really you know, playing with the system, so Google does not like that. So, but you wanna look at the anchor text ratio that they have, and that's something we display really easily in the competitor section of the dashboard. And the other thing that I like to look at, what are the top pages? What are the most visited pages? Where are the pages with the most amount of links going to, other than the home page? And I'll take a look at how that's laid out. How are they organizing the information? Because this is critical information to emulate because your job here is to hack that competitor's strategy, their messaging, and find out what is it that they're doing so you can outdo it, right? You can, you can make it better, but still take a look at what's really helping them. And finally, the, the couple of other information that I would wanna look at is the organic keywords. Inside ClickX, there's a way to get the organic keywords that they rank for today. And that's really important because you wanna know what is the keywords that they really are working hard towards, right? You wanna understand that this is the keywords that they're working really hard on. This is their content marketing strategy. This is based on the backlink information and the anchor text. This is what they rank for. This, my friend, is the most valuable information you can get. No matter how much money they're spending, no matter how many companies they use, no matter, no matter how much content they're writing, this information gives me real-time insight into what these guys are doing so I can go back and reverse engineer what is it that they're doing. It's a lot easier to see what your competitor does than to guess what your competitor does. So essentially what you really need to be looking at, not just the, the on-site things that you could read, like your text, the call to action, right? The things that are really personable that you can relate to this brand. What is their story? What are they trying to say? All those things are really important. I can't really measure that in a platform, but from a platform perspective, you should be trying to get, you know, backlinks, the anchor text data, the scoop, right? The, the technical things, um, the top pages, look at the organic keywords, the paid keywords, take a look at their social media strategy because it's really important that you understand what is it that they're doing so you know you're benchmarking yourself against your competitors. And when you have to do this across five, 10, 20, 30 competitors, let me tell you, the amount of work that you have to do is massive. So you gotta make it really easy on yourself so that you can accomplish this in a timely manner because having this insight doesn't do you any good unless you're actually gonna work on it. My hope is I got some insight into what you need to do. Thank you for watching another edition of Marketing Hack of the Day. Oh, hi. Subscribe to our channel. Click X, helping businesses increase traffic, generate leads, and close deals.